Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. In this video, Greg Annecker, the three-time national champion of the Ideal National Championship, is going to be installing two circuits. And these two circuits are going to be traveling from a sub-panel through the same EMT. So we're going to have two separate circuits running through the same EMT. I'm going to show you how he's going to branch off to one uh, receptacle box that's going to be 15 amp and another receptacle box that's going to be 20 amp and they're going to be entirely different circuits and also he's going to be running feeders from a main panel over to a sub panel so that will show you how to wire a sub panel as well here we go now he has grabbed the EGC that's equipment grounding conductor wire that is provided for him. At the same time, he has grabbed two black hot feeders and one white neutral feeder. He'll run them between the main panel and the sub panel. He'll strip the end off of the EGC wire and he will attach it to the bar on the right of the main panel. Now he'll strip the end off the white neutral feeder and he will attach it to the same bar that he attached the EGC wire to and he can do that because it is the main panel. Now he'll attach the two black hot feeders to the 50 amp circuit breaker. When he's done, they'll look like this. Now he'll land the EGC wire on the sub panel. The EGC wires and the neutrals must be separated on a subpanel. He attached the EGC wire to the ground bar where the blue arrow is. Now he'll land the white neutral feeder to the neutral terminal of the subpanel. When he's done, the subpanel neutral feeder connection will look like this. Now Greg will connect the two hot feeders to the two hot lugs of the subpanel. Now he'll start the circuit wiring. He's going to start with a 12 gauge wire and he's going to pull that through to the first box where he's going to have a single receptacle on that 20 amp circuit. He has pulled 12 gauge red and 12 gauge white wires. He'll bring the white neutral wire to the neutral bar and he'll bring the red hot wire to the 20 amp breaker. Now Greg will pull black and white 14 gauge wires for his 15 amp circuit that comes from the sub panel. He runs the black and white wire into the box that is going to have the receptacle that will be on the 15 amp circuit coming from the sub panel. Then he runs the black and white wires through the box that is going to house the receptacle for the 20 amp circuit and then up into the sub panel. Now he'll strip and land the 14 gauge white neutral wire on the neutral bar. Now he'll connect the 14 gauge black hot wire to the 15 amp breaker. Now with the 15 amp breaker hooked up, he's going to grab the wire 
that is coming out of the box that will house the 15 amp receptacle and he cuts it now he'll work on the 20 amp circuit which will be the box on the right now he'll work on the 15 amp circuit that comes from the sub panel now Greg will attach bonding wires to each of the metal boxes now he'll attach mud rings to each of the 4x4 boxes. The 15 amp circuit will be on the left with a receptacle and the 20 amp circuit will be on the right with a receptacle. You can see right here is the green bounding wire securely fastened to the back of the box. Now he will install the receptacle that goes to the 20 amp circuit from the sub panel. This is the receptacle that he just installed in the video, and this is a 20 amp circuit. This is your red hot wire that goes to the receptacle, and this is your neutral, and this is your green bonding wire. And notice that this is a 15 amp circuit that goes to this box. You see how it just goes through in an unspliced manner over to this box right here. Greg will now torque down the breakers with the ideal torque screwdriver. He'll tighten down his Siemens 15 and 20 amp breakers to 25 pound inch. The torque specs for a Siemens ground bar is 20 pound inch for the small holes and 35 pound inch for the large holes. That's for 14 to 10 AWG. Now Greg will put stickers on the wires in the panels to designate what circuit they go to. For example, this black wire is marked number two and it goes to circuit breaker number two. So here's your conduit that carries two circuits. It carries a 20 amp circuit for this receptacle and a 15 amp circuit for this receptacle. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.